there was a horse trailer that was sitting out in the yard that had 13 dogs stacked in cages. And it was just absolutely deplorable inside, no air quality and, and just caked with all kinds of dirt and, and waste. The Richland County Humane Society says they've never seen a situation this extreme before. After more than 80 dogs were rescued from a property in the county over the weekend. Well, now the Humane Society says they'll be closed for the near future as they work to help these dogs. In fact, just hours ago, Isabel Lawrence received details from the sheriff's office of what exactly was found at the scene and the arrest made. We've learned that 47-year-old Michael Olar and 43-year-old Renee Booher have been charged with child endangering. Their four grandchildren were in the home the sheriff's incident report described as having an overwhelming odor of dog urine and feces. According to the report, both were charged with child endangering due to the conditions of the house and close proximity to animal abuse. They were also charged with possession of drugs, marijuana, and possessing drug abuse instruments. The report detailing that marijuana, syringes, and guns were in plain view. The Humane Society of Richland County says more than 80 dogs were found throughout the property in cages in what they called deplorable conditions. Two monkeys were also found on the property. Now the Humane Society is giving all the dogs health checks and asking people to volunteer as fosters, grappling with what they call an overwhelming situation. We, we're still like assessing um, as far as like the extent of what we want to do. We have a lot of work to do, uh, continuing to evaluate for, you know, those neglect charges and things like that. According to the sheriff's incident report, humane agents on scene said they were pursuing felony charges. The report also says all four children had open cases with Child Protective Services. They were taken to another grandparent's house. Now, I also heard from the city of Mansfield's first assistant law director, who tells me no charges have been filed in the Mansfield Municipal Court regarding the animals seized this weekend. However, we are told Olar and Buher both entered pleas of not guilty in their child endangering cases with pretrial scheduled in the coming weeks. The Humane Society has an Amazon wish list going of items they need, like certain dog foods and medications. Laura, of course, we do have links to their website on WKYC.com. Oh, these poor puppies, they have such an uphill battle ahead. All right, Isabel, thank you.